was a, a partnership that was developed by our, our the two main people within both organizations, Akio Toyota from Toyota and Elon Musk. By partnering with Tesla, my hope is that all Toyota employees will recall that venture business spirit and take on the challenge of the future. We looked at our huge portfolio of vehicles and we wanted to try to, of course, uh, have one that had good versatility and something different that wasn't out in the EV market at that point. Working with Tesla on this uh, development uh, was unique for us, to say the least. Obviously, Tesla is a startup company. Um, they're in the process of, of getting to this level of mass-producing vehicles, where at Toyota, we've been mass-producing vehicles for, for decades. You know, it starts out like uh, any sort of partnership, where beginning it was a lot of get to know you and figure out just how you work and, and a sort of going back and forth, trying not to, you know, think of it as like a dance with a new partner. You're trying not to step on one another's toes and you're trying to get a sense of your timing. Of course, we probably all came to the project with the conceived notion of uh, we're going to be working with Tesla, those are those Silicon Valley guys, and they're all going to be drinking their Starbucks coffees and no, no worries. And uh, I think we all, they probably came to the table, oh, we're dealing with these guys working at Toyota, there's going to be stiffs in suits. We got to see a different type of engineer and different thinking than uh, what we normally do on a, a Toyota development project. Uh, the Tesla engineers have a different way of thinking, and so it was interesting to see uh, how they do problem solving. Those guys are, are extremely smart, and what you find is the guys that work at Tesla not only know their parts, but they know something about one else's parts too. Something that we brought to the table, of course, is is our ability to, to bring this vehicle to mass produce it, to consider how to get it out to market, how to make it serviceable at all the dealerships, how to make it reliable and robust and that we can make not one, not two, but you know, 2,500, 25,000. Part of it was tasked for us to uh, rethink the way that we do some things and to take a look at that innovative approach. How is Tesla moving as quickly as they are? Certainly Tesla has shown to the world that they are very capable. There was a lot of give and take. Uh, there was a lot of uh... Uh, we see how they do things and, and vice versa and, and, and I think that we're all, we're all better for this experience. As we move through development, I think we started to understand each other's needs and, and each other's areas of expertise and we kind of fed on that and it helped us move this project along fairly quickly. Um, you know, they have great software development there and from there we were able to quickly modify our, our software development in many iterations to, to resolve issues in, in, a, in a much quicker amount of time. For example, you could imagine in the in engine uh, compartment we had a lot of packaging that was done. Toyota sort of led that activity and was supported by Tesla through uh, design iteration and, and packaging development of the components. Uh, in addition to that, we had teams in the thermal area where they collaborated. Tesla teams focused on the thermal controls that were relative to the Tesla supplied um, powertrain systems. We integrated those into, uh, took responsibility for the cabin, and then together we integrated those two systems to work in conjunction. Using an existing uh, platform and a vehicle, it, it kind of helped speed the process, but let's not, you know, uh, kid ourselves, you know, changing a, you know, an internal combustion engine vehicle to electric vehicle is, is no small task. Not only do we have to reconsider the conventional gasoline vehicle's parts function and the parts that we needed and did not need, but then we can consider the uh, new technology and the, the new structures that were being proposed by Tesla and how to best integrate them. It was kind of a growth experience because now, you know, it's, it's one of those things that Difficult, give us a day. Impossible, might take a week. I think it gave us a great challenge to uh, strengthen our understanding of the vehicle design that we already have, and it gave us some good foundation to uh, uh, build the EV vehicles in the future. Uh, we were very thankful for that experience. You know, a lot of the engineers that worked on this, it gave them an opportunity to really think outside the box, something different that you don't find in a normal vehicle development. Um, and I think that was great. Our engineers were, were so enthusiastic, so energetic on working on this, and I think they did a, a heck of a job in working together with Tesla to provide us a vehicle that I think is going to be uh, you know, well received within the, within the market. Mm -hmm.